Today I'm going to show you how to make a very savory uh, snack called stuffed peppers. And it's a very nice snack from southern China. And for this, I'm going to use minced fish with pork. But you can make a, you can, if you prefer, you can use uh, prawns if you like. And for this, you need about one pound of peppers, red or uh, green. But I like to use a combination of the two and some yellow peppers if they're available. And what you need to do is make the stuffing next. And the stuffing requires some water chestnut. And water chestnut comes in tin, and it looks like this. It has a nice sweet taste and a crispy texture. And for this, I need to cut it up very finely. And here I'm using a Chinese cleaver, but you can use a knife if you wish. Chop it fine and add it to four ounces of very finely chopped uh, water chestnut. And some of the other ingredients I'm going to use for this recipe is eight ounces of minced pork. Pork is used a great deal in Chinese cookery. And I have here eight ounces of white fish, or uh, you can use um, any type of white fish like haddock, sea bass, or uh, fish like that. And cod works very well also. It's an unusual combination of fish and pork, but it works very well. And here, I have one egg white, and this will be used to lighten the mixture. One teaspoon of corn flour, which will be used to bind the mixture. A teaspoon of salt. One and a half tablespoon of light soy sauce, which is used widely in Chinese uh, southern cooking. Two teaspoon of sesame oil, which will give it a nice toasty flavor. And one tablespoon of rice wine, or you can use dry sherry if you can't get rice wine. One teaspoon of sugar, and this will enhance the flavors of the stuffing. And finally, two tablespoon of very finely chopped spring onions. Take the mixture and mix it very well together. It's an unusual combination of, of pork and seafood, but it's really quite delicious. Mmm, smells so good already. Mix it very well, and this is what it should look like when it's properly mixed. Now, uh, I'm going to stuff the peppers. And for this, you need about three ounces of corn flour. And uh, you need to dust the inside of the peppers so that the stuffing can be bound together with the peppers. And this is how you do it. You take the corn flour, put it in the center of the peppers like this, and then tap out any excess. This will prevent your stuffing from being uh, gooey. And I like to stuff this with a teaspoon. I think a teaspoon is quite nice. And I love the stuffing because it smells so good already. And be sure to press down to get out any air pocket so that also this will make sure that the stuffing doesn't fall out while you're cooking it. And I like to mound this quite well. And if the pepper is very large, uh, you need to cut it into four. And if it's very small, just cut it into two, which is fine. And for this, I'm going to cut it into four sections because this is a rather large pepper. And I'm putting it on a heat-proof plate. And look how lovely they look. Now, um, the peppers are ready to be steamed. And steam them for about 15 to 20 minutes. And what I like to do is um, I like to uh, steam them for usually about 15 minutes. And here I am using a European steamer. And you can use a wok with a rack and a lid if you wish. And this is what they look like when they're steamed. They're really quite lovely, and especially with all the different colors. And um, what's very interesting about these is that you can make them ahead of time, up to this point, two hours in advance. Or, if you like, you can uh, actually eat them straight away. But what I like to do is I like to brown them slightly in some oil so it gives them a nice crispy uh, texture and color and, and taste.